Hey garden friends, it's Mel with Sucky Crabs and today's video is about sun damaged succulents. So I have here three examples of a sun damaged succulent and this one is Echeveria leticia. And this one here, it's in pretty bad shape. So it started to stretch and then I put it in direct sun when it wasn't supposed to because I didn't acclimate it. This plant here, or all of them actually, all these three, they came from a shade house. So I brought them home, I, um, I kept them in the shade, but it was too shady. So then they started to stretch. You can see how tall they started to get. And then because I put them from the shade into the direct sun, they got sun damaged like within hours. It happened within hours. And you can see how it took a toll. It really took a toll on this one right here, but there's still hope. You don't have to throw them away. So you can see this one here isn't as damaged but it's still some damaged. So it literally gets sunburned. So you can see the leaves, they get burned, completely burned. And if I turn this around, the leaves, they start to just dry out and wither away. It's very sad, but there's still hope. And when there's still, you know there's still hope when the center growth is still green. And even though the little tips there of the leaves in the center are burned, that center is still green. So not all is lost. Now, if it was all completely sunburned, I'd have to just cut that, cut that top off. And unfortunately, you just can just throw it away if you like. And then the stem will grow new, um, will grow a new plant. But that takes a long, long time. So I kind of want to show you just what sunburn looks like and what kind of like not as severe sun damage looks like and then this one you can see how it's still sunburn but the middle growth is still green and how it's kind of supposed to look so big difference right if i kind of put these together there's a big difference even though this one is still a little stretched it's still growing nice and healthy and it even has a pup right over there So if your centers are still green, you can still save your plant. If your center becomes burned, all you have to do is cut it. So let me show you how I do that. Just gonna fill up a little planter here with succulent soil. I'm gonna grab a scissor. And I'm literally gonna cut the head off. Just like that. I'm gonna take these leaves off just so I can create a stem just like that and I'm just gonna replant it just like that and it'll start growing new again new and healthy again and out of this top right here you'll get more pups because they just keep producing because the stem there it isn't sunburned it's still a healthy stem it was the leaves that got sunburned, but the stem is still gonna produce. So if I keep watering this, like I normally do, it'll produce a little pup there. And I have an example here. This is one that I beheaded a month ago. And the pups were there, but they weren't as big. But if you see closely, it's starting to develop new pups around it. So that's how resilient succulents are. They can get sunburned, they can be overwatered, but with the right proper care, they can just regrow again. And that's amazing. And that's why one of the reasons why I love succulents. So that's the end of the video. I hope that you learned something new or that you can go and save one of those succulents that is a severely sun damaged and there's still hope. So until next time, bye garden friends. Well, while I tend to my garden, why don't you subscribe so we can keep in touch.